police have just confirmed there is an active shooter on the campus of Santa Monica College in Southern California. The president happens to be in Santa Monica right now, but he is not at that college. Uh, our, our West Coast newsroom is all over this, and our Adam Housley is, is live with us from there. Ad, Adam, what's happened here? Yeah, Shepard, we're getting the, as you know, in situations like this, the information comes in fast and furious. And right now we've been told this, that there are reports of shooting at Santa Monica College, City College, which is a junior college basically here in the California system, a big feeder for UCLA, which is not far from here. Uh, in this area, we're told that there, the, the area is on lockdown, the school is on lockdown, that the police, Santa Monica police are telling us that they have a suspect down on campus. It's not clear if anybody's been injured, but there have been a number of reports that a man was, sh a man was shooting at cars just after noon our time, so uh, roughly 20 minutes or so ago. And according to reports, a worker on campus also heard dozens of gunshots and saw students as well who were uh, trying to get out of the library area. Who were, This is all final exam time here as well, so it's a very busy campus anyway. As I mentioned, a large junior college campus, Santa Monica City College is, not far from the ocean, just south of the 10 freeway if you know the Los Angeles area at all. So to the west of downtown, as you mentioned also, Shepard, the president is in this area. In fact, not far, almost halfway between between where we're located and the shooting, the actual intersection will be shut down for the presidential motorcade to move through. So you have a number of issues going on here. You have a no-fly area as well. And across the scanner, there have been some other interesting police reports as well. We don't know if these are all connected, but a house fire, some other stuff. So as you know, Shepard, in this type of situation, you have to get this information in. You have to clarify. You have to ensure that this information, of course, is straight. And what we know straight right now is that a shooter, according to Santa Monica Police, is down on campus and we don't know if there are any other victims, but the school, this city college, uh, Santa Monica City College, is on lockdown. You're seeing live video right now of the area. It's on Pico Boulevard, for anybody who knows the Los Angeles area, Shepard. It's actually there whether people know it or not. Uh, Pico. It, it, this is, uh, school's about out, isn't it? Can we listen into this? Yeah. Okay, wait, wait, hang on. A a Adam, hang on. We, can we listen into the ABC? Here's what we're watching. This is uh, ABC7, our network news service affiliate that serves Los Angeles and the Southland. Uh, and they have a reporter on the ground there. As you can see, people are just kind of standing around waiting to find out exactly what's happened. There are a lot of pieces to this puzzle from what I've been able to discern. A number of, you know, what we would consider to be local news events happening all at the same time right around this spot where the president is. And I'm not trying to draw anything together, not trying to give you the impression that this is in any way coordinated, because I have nothing to indicate that it is. But it's a little weird. So we have this shooter on campus. We don't know if anybody got hit, uh, but we know the shooter is down. We presume the police have shot this shooter. That's the indications we're getting. And you can see they're, they're, you know, they're, they're seriously ready for action out there. You said the intersection there on Pico is, is shut down. Is that right, Adam? Yeah, in fact, the whole the whole campus is shut down. This is not a small community college. Right, 30,000 gonna... students go here. So it's a very large facility. And again, I've, I've been down there a bunch. It's all sorts of different ways you can get in and off campus. It's a very open area. But the intersections in that area are shut down as well as the campus itself. You can see a lot of students that have come out to some of the businesses across the street and yeah. away from where this took place. And again, we're told it took place in the library area on campus, Shepard. And now I'm, now I'm told, this is from... Uh from Reuters news agency. The suspect is now in custody after the shooting on the Santa Monica College. It left a number of people, what's that? This is according to police, it left a number of people injured. What we don't know yet is whether people might have been injured in an attempt to get away from this guy or whether this guy shot any of these people, we don't know. But we have a witness being interviewed by ABC7 and when that, when that interview gets underway, I'll take you there to it. Uh, in the meantime, we're waiting to find out exactly what went down and what this shooter is accused of doing. It's very possible that a number of people were shot here, but the police have not given us that information yet, though there are reports to indicate that out there. Fox News cannot confirm it. So at this moment, we wait. Uh, Adam, anything new out there? Yeah, we're hearing from the U.S. Secret Service. Again, the president, uh, where his location is today, is not very far from this, this college, this junior college. And the U.S. Secret Service has just weighed in, and they've said, quote, we're aware of the incident. Adam, it's Adam, not stand by. Let's visit. listen. Adam, stand by. Listen. Three floors. So we're, like, on the, on the one on the bottom. Maybe we just, we just heard, like, somebody, like, like, if somebody would drop books, but we didn't know what was it. And so somebody started screaming, screaming and saying that they were shooting. And then when we heard that they were shooting, we just immediately got out of the building and then 
we, everyone rushed outside, but we, we didn't know what was going on until they told us that we were shooting in front of, of the front of the library. After that, we don't know what happened, but there was shooting inside of the library. Today's finals, everybody, I'm sure there were a lot of people yeah. inside the library. Yeah, well, actually, I was in the library because I was sitting for a final, and uh, we, I was about to get out when that happened. And uh, when we heard, like, they were shooting, we just immediately got out, and then I just left everything we had in there, we just left it in there, and we just ran out of time. Was it just chaotic in there? When ABC 7, our network news service affiliate, yeah. KABC in Los Angeles. Listen. Actually, to the first floor, and then we just got out from uh, the exit from the back of the library, so we couldn't go uh, get out from the one uh, outside, from the one from the front where the guy was at. So everybody were just rushing, and then they wouldn't know what we didn't know what to do, so we just got out of there. So after that, we didn't know what happened, and everybody uh, left. And that seems to be the case here in the early going, that it's difficult to find out exactly what did happen. But I've, I've now, it's now been confirmed to me that a number of people are injured, that the suspect is in custody, at least one suspect. It appears that the danger has passed. Uh, at least that's what we have for now. Uh, police say the gunman opened fire. Now we have confirmed from police that he opened fire. Uh, this is near Santa Monica College, and several people are injured, but we have from other sources that the shooting happened in the library. So here's what I'm piecing this together. We're all learning together now. There's a shooting in the library. The guy fires some shots, leaves the library, fires some more shots, gets taken down police, is taken into custody. A number of people are taken away. Here's the weirdness of this thing. Usually we have 35,000 helicopters in the air because I think every resident of Southern California owns a helicopter and they all fly at the same time and they all have cameras. I'm sure you've noticed this, but not today. And the reason for that is the president is there. When the president's there, they either close or limit the airspace. And that's a live picture through KTTB, Fox 11 for the Southland. Uh, the president's there, so there are no choppers in the air. And then all this weird stuff starts happening right around where the president was. This shooter in the library at, at Santa Monica College and then outside the library with the police activity there on the ground. Adam mentioned a, a house fire around the corner, not far from there. The president speaking just a few blocks from there, so no choppers in the air. It's just kind of a weird day in Santa Monica. In June, you know, they have June gloom in Southern California. The marine layer comes in and the sun goes behind the clouds and everybody gets weird because it's the only time of the year when it's gloomy there. And so it's weird. Adam, it's weird, isn't it? Yeah, it is a weird day out here. You mentioned the June gloom, very gray and, and cool for Southern California. A, a couple of points, too, we're getting, Shepard, that might help clarify this. The shooting we were told in or around the library, that library is not far from Pico Boulevard. And uh. what we're hearing from the CHP is a heavily armed suspect was shooting near the library at cars. We also have been told that all schools weird. in Santa Monica are on lockdown as well to ensure, of course, there isn't any other uh, shooters or anybody else involved in this. So uh, as a precaution, other schools in Santa Monica are all on lockdown as well, Shepard. Yeah, I'm, I'm now told three students are confirmed, three people are confirmed injured. We can't confirm that they're students, but they're believed to be. Uh, and the suspect in custody. We don't know the extent of the injuries. Uh, police have told the Los Angeles Times newspaper that they were shot while inside a car, either on campus or near the campus. So guys in library, comes out of library, begins firing at passing cars. Adam, that's strange even for Southern California. It is, and, and you know, Shepard, again, this, 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 this community college is built right on Pico Boulevard, which is a main, main thoroughfare that's off the freeway, south of the 10 freeway that runs right uh, into the Pacific Ocean, basically, is where Pico dead in. So you're not far from the ocean where this took place. A very large tourist area not far from this college as well, the Third Street Promenade. So this area already is impacted. You add the presidential visit to it and all these other issues. It's making it even more uh, chaotic down there. The Secret Service has also said that they are aware of the shooting. It's not affecting the presidential visit at this hour. Uh, so they did weigh in on what's happening here as well, Shepard. Hmm. Now, I, I guess we're going to get more from police in just a minute, but... All, this whole group here, these people must not have seen much, because what's been described to us would be an unsettling event. A uh, guy in library with gun comes out of library right on Pico Boulevard, starts shooting up passing cars. Cars are pulling over to the side, people going off to the hospital. Guy is taken down by police, and when they say taken down, that usually involves a weapon when they use that verbiage at him. 
Yeah, either means one of two things. Either they shot him and they went down, or they have taken him physically down uh, to the ground. And usually that means that they have uh, the person or the person's going into custody at that point. So um, taken down, does that mean they shot him and he went down, or was they physically forced this guy down to the ground? The good news is it seems like, Shepard, that this is a lone gunman potentially, even though they are locking down other schools. And if that's the case, as you can see by the people here on camera, they're not running away in any direction. It's, there's been no more shots reported, so it seems like they at least have that part of the scene under some, some sort of control, Shepard. Yeah, they do, and we're starting to get...